Good afternoon, and welcome to the New Orleans Jazz Museum. On behalf of the National Park Service, we bid you welcome. Um, National Park Service's mission is to preserve, protect, and cultivate further appreciation for our natural and cultural resources. With that in mind, today we're going to celebrate our cultural resources, our music in New Orleans. This presentation will be a piano hour for your enjoyment. Without further ado, I introduce to you a comrade of mine. Uh, I call him the, the pastor, professor, however you want to address him. Phenomenal pianist, educator, as well as a producer. I give you Mr. Kyle Roussel. Thank you. 
Those two were made famous by the great James Booker. That last one was uh, Blues Minuet. And before that was the Black Minute Waltz, a uh, rendition of the Minute Waltz by the great Chopin. Uh, this next one is uh, Dorothy by Dr. John.
Thank you very much. Uh, that was uh, one from the church titled What a Friend We Have in Jesus, popular hymn. This is an original composition of mine. This is entitled Genuflection.
All right. Thank you very much. I'm going to open, uh, open this little section up for any questions, comments, any questions, anyone? Yes, ma'am. I have no idea. I don't. I, 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 I need more clues. I don't remember <laughs> what uh, it's it's stuff in the storm. base. It's like the storm. Ah, the storm. Okay, I remember now. Um, that was a taste of honey, um, an adaptation from James Booker. I remember. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Um, you probably you probably can. Um, I grew up uh, at the age of nine, starting with classical music. And I started playing in church around the age of twelve. And I started doing jazz at sixteen uh, down the street at Noka, the Royal Center for Creative Arts, um, and it just kind of blends together. Um, I think. Uh, a lot, a lot of, of American music that's kind of rooted in, uh, you know, uh, traditional American music can be blended together. And there's, there's so many um, aspects of it that if you're someone like me who grew up in all those traditions, it's easy for you to, to blend them together, which is what I do to form uh, my personal style and playing. Yes. That was, um, 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 I'll check my list. So many songs, I'm trying to remember. Uh, the Crave by Jelly Roll Martin. The, the Crave. C-R-A-V-E, yes. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Um, I'd say New Orleans tradition is is more social. So much of the music formed here uh, came out of social necessity, whether it was for a parade or for a funeral or for a religious event or for a dance or a party. So, so much of the music involves people enjoying themselves. Um, not to say that New York jazz doesn't have that, they certainly have that like in the big band tradition, in the swing tradition, but nearly all of the music here is is for the people to enjoy themselves. And it, it's uh, social. Yeah, yes sir. Yes, there's definitely, definitely, uh, you know, the swing era, the big band era, but here we have brass band traditions, second line traditions. Uh, there's an entire R&B funk scene with the meters and, and Alan Tucson and, and all those people. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Um, Bill Evans. Mm -hmm. I have to say more talk in terms of classical. Um, his origins and your origins are very similar. And I was paying attention to him. Mm -hmm. But you're emphasized the left wing, both classical players and left wing music. Mm -hmm. um, can you comment on that? Um, I don't know. I'm I'm right-handed. I mean, it just just really helps to be as dexterous as you can, and with both of your hands. I don't know. You tr you try to be equally proficient in both hands. Is is the overall goal? You don't usually succeed in that. Um, but it just really depends on the music. Like New Orleans piano, especially solo piano, the the bass, the left hand, 
functions really as a rhythm section, um, all in itself, like with playing chords, holding down the rhythm, and and being very foundational. So there's a lot of intricate left hand work. Like for instance, James Booker was famous because he did an entire swing pattern with just his left hand. Like in jazz, you have right ding ding di ding ding di ding. His left hand was really strong. He did. So it's, it's, it's kind of is dependent on the genre, but you you want your hands to be equally as dexterous. Sometimes there's no choice. So like Ravel, for example. Well, yeah, e everybody's got their intricate yeah. compositions. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. No problem. What was that tango? That sounded so familiar. I think that was the crave. It's a bit of a tango. Jelly roll? Yes, ma'am. Um, back to the time of Booker, could you talk about the two of your favorite players in the Booker time? Uh, I'd say, I'd s in my opinion, Booker was, was the best out of the New Orleans pianists because he, he captured so many genres. And if you go and try to learn his music the way he played it, it's incredibly difficult. A lot of people play his music, but not a lot of pianists play it correctly or play it the way that he played it. And when you really get into the way that he played it, it's incredibly difficult. Um, but I'm also influenced by Dr. John, um, Alan Toussaint, Huey Piano Smith. Um, yeah, Jelly Roll Martin. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Classical and jazz. Mm -hmm. So um, was the transition the tone to go from classical, not to classical, but to any of the other instruments? Was it the freer form of playing? Yeah, it was difficult for me at first because um, I was kind of learning all of it at the same time. So they were all different, separate entities probably until my late teens, early 20s, I was, I would, you know, do a, a concerto competition on Saturday and then go play in church on Sunday and then play a jazz gig. And they were all separate things. Um, probably until my early 20s, it just, it just all meshed together and became music where I was comfortable with expressing it how I wanted to express it and it wasn't it became one one thing. Yeah. Yes sir. When you said the vibe for a lot of my time used to be the influence most of Booker, mm -hmm. who would you say are the young players that you should keep an eye on who are gonna occupy those positions over the next twenty, thirty, forty years? Um I'd say there's a number of, of great uh pianists, especially from New Orleans, Jonathan Batiste, of course. Um, Sullivan Fortner, uh, there's local uh, pianist uh, Shea Pierre, um, Oscar <coughs> Razignoli, um, um, Joe Ashlar. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a number of. I know Jonathan was and Jonathan Batiste and, and um Shay. Shay, they they all went to school down the street at Noka, so yeah. Yes, sir. A little bit. Um it's 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 always something to learn. You you never can really become a master. There's always something you can go and 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 work on and perfect and add to your arsenal. Haven't delved so much in with Joplin, uh, but that's definitely something <laughs> I want to deal with in the future. Mm-hmm. 
I wouldn't say you have to, but it, it definitely helps. Yeah, it, it certainly helps um, to be proficient in, in fingerings and, and hand positions to, to tackle any style of music. Um, learning the fundamentals is, would definitely help you. All right, well, I'm gonna play some more piano. Uh, let's see, this is some Alan Toussaint. Um, Southern Nights. Thank you very much. I've got time to do uh, one more. Uh, next month, uh, March 26th, I will be doing an album release concert down the street at Snug Harbor, releasing a solo piano record of a lot of the music you've heard today with some others. Um, I'll also be here uh, the week before, uh, the week before March 20th and the week after, also at the Maple Leaf Bar. Um, you can find out all that information on my website, kylearoussel.com. Um, but yeah, it's a New Orleans piano record of the music of James Booker, Dr. John, Alan Toussaint, 
Jelly Roll Martin, Huey Piano Smith, Alvin Batiste, along with some originals uh, coming to you later next month. Thank you. Um, thank you for, for coming. I'm going to end this set with uh, some Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the New Orleans Jazz Museum, the New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park, we thank you for coming out and sharing. If you haven't done so already, come down to 419 Decatur and visit us at our visiting center. Once again, a grand hand for Mr. Kyle Roussel.